Let's see, today I wanted to share about my solution that I came up with for the interior ceiling height in the truck camper. So uh, those, of, those of you that have been following along the channel for a while remembered, uh, probably remember last year when I did a couple of videos explaining about the truck camper ceiling height and how I was having some issues maneuvering around the air conditioning unit while standing up in the truck camper as I am right now standing up and so uh, I came up with a really 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 great solution and why didn't I think of this before I don't know but what I do know is that none of you suggested it so or at least I don't recall or remember any of you guys suggesting to do this so this what I'm about to share with you guys this is a tip that may help some of you that are uh, some of you tall people out there that like truck campers and you may be able to squeeze another one or possibly two inches out of your truck camper so let's get right into it what did I do and voila there it is I removed the cover the air conditioning cover okay the inside cover so let's, let's let's explain what I did. Basically, what attaches the cover to the ceiling? There are about eight screws total that go to this uh, that install into this metal flashing piece. About eight screws, and then there is the pigtail wiring harness that comes out that has a ground power and a negative wire. You know, just like house wiring. And uh, so you basically you just disconnect that wiring, remove the eight screws, and the entire cover, it can come off. And then, so what does that do? Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you how much clearance that that uh, additionally gives me. So right now I'm standing up and I, I do have my running shoes on, so that puts me up probably about another inch, inch and a half or so. And you can see how much clearance I have, so I don't... You know, I've got plenty of, of, uh, of clearance to walk around, and of course, if I don't have my shoes on, I have a little bit more clearance. So I'm six foot six tall. So any of you out there that are tall and uh, are running into this issue in your truck camper, in your travel trailer, with your air conditioning unit, uh, you know, residing a little bit lower, you know, hung down a lot of the uh, a lot of the what they're kind of going to now more is a um, a little bit more of an inverted duct. So it's it's uh, it has less of a of a um, indentation into 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 the ceiling. Uh, that's kind of what I've noticed. Some of the newer generation air conditioning uh, units are going into more of a of a kind of a ducted I think uh, ducted vent cover. So uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, the amount of roof clearance I have, not a lot, but it sure is a much better than it was before I'm telling you guys this has probably one been one of the best things that I've done with the camper and uh, it's really been a, uh, a total game changer for me as far as keeping the camp keeping the the truck camper and you know instead of um, you know trying to basically get rid of this and get into some other type of vehicle you know, another type of RV so this really has solved uh, my dilemma with this so uh, so it's great and you know the other thing is is if I ever uh, you know some of you might be asking okay well wow you know so now you you can't turn on your air conditioning unit well where I've been staying out here on the Oregon coast you know we don't use air conditioning here I mean you can um, I mean, heck, I don't even have most of most of my windows open. I mean, it's in the 50s at night. So, um, you know, but in the event that I needed uh, to use my air conditioning, it's just a matter of reinstalling this cover uh, back into place. And it, it took me about 20 minutes, I think, to remove it. So probably about that long, that much. But, yeah, this is one of those things. I just kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just I totally overlooked it. And uh, so hopefully this gives you some tips. I want to show you kind of what I also what I did here to uh, to duct it to uh, cape to kind of clo enclose it in a little bit more with with some of some reflecting. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you that. In order to eliminate some of the draft, uh, all I did was I took two pieces of reflectix and I put I put one piece going this direction and then I cut another piece going the uh, the opposite direction in a crisscross pattern and uh, that just 
you know, eliminates uh, any drafts that I'm going to have coming through here, and it will also reflect the some of the heat and also some of the the, the, the coolness, some of the dampness at night. And then I just uh, stuffed uh, some cotton balls here in some of the the uh, some of the other corners that I was having a little bit of a you know a tough time getting those sealed up, and you know that works perfect. And uh, for any of for those of you that are interested in some of the construction that goes into the Northern Light build on these campers, uh, wow, here's a you know an excellent example of how they're constructed. We've got the a little layer of uh, fiberglass right here. We have uh, some strips of plywood that are cut. We've got some insulation uh, underneath the strips of plywood that gives it its curv curvature, the way the, the plywood is cut like that, and then plywood underneath that. And you know you can see how they have uh, ins spray on insulation that is sandwiched in between the plywood. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, some of the construction that goes in to the Northern Light builds. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I know it certainly was for me, and it certainly made my life a lot more enjoyable. So thanks for watching, guys. The best way to support the channel, if you'd like to, is to simply share the video. We'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.